today is going to go over a couple examples for interpreting the line of best fit within the Delta Math online system. So here we have Paisley keeps track of the number of people inside a music hall to attend a concert by looking at the number of scanned tickets. She plotted the data on the graph below where X equals zero represents the time at 6 p.m., then drew a line of best fit. What does the point 175, 1.75, 199.1 on the line of best fit represent? So the yellow points, that was her scatter plot of data, right, that she used. Now, those points are the actual uh, recording of the data at those times, how many, how many people were inside the, uh, the music hall that many, that long after 6 p.m., right? Going here, 0.25 hours, half hour later, three quarters of an hour, one hour passed. So that'd be seven o'clock right there. This is eight o'clock and so on. So they wanted at this point, 175, 199, 199.1 is actually on the line, but that wasn't one used, right? So, um, I don't believe it was the one actually used because um, it is a point on there. So I'm thinking they use that as they're making they're making a prediction here, right? So they're making a prediction at 1.75 hours after six o'clock. So that'd be what 7:45 at 7:45 p.m. You expect to have about 191 99.1 people in the hall. And the point one's the giveaway, right? This is a prediction tool because you can't have a partial person, right? So. At 7.45, there were, we would expect, yeah, at, one, at 7.45, we would expect 199.1 people in the music hall. That's going to be our best answer. Submit it. Good. Look at this next one. Gives us a scatter plot. This time, it's looking at the length of people's femur bone and their height in centimeters. What does the 0 .42, 155.4 represent? So that point is not on the line so this is actual this is actual data from from somebody so this is a person right so um the height of an actual person with a femur length of 42 centimeters yep and a height of 155.4 this is the one we want okay if we were to think what's expected at 42 we'd look at the line of best fit We'd actually expect the height, the model would expect the height to be around 161 centimeters, right, for 42. Um, so but this is the actual. All right. Let's look at another one. Chloe keeps track of the number of people inside the music hall to attend a concert by looking at the number of scanned tickets. She plots the data on the graph where X equals zero represents that time at 6 p.m. Then she drew a line of best fit. All right. So we got a line of best fit. And... Um, what does the point 1.25, 172.2 on the line of best fit represent? So again, this is a prediction. It's not an actual person. It's not one of the yellow points there. Um, that was the actual data. So this is just a prediction. So this would be at what, 6, 6.15? P no, 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 7.15. 6 plus an hour and a quarter, it'd be 7.15 p.m. You expect 172.2 people in the music hall. So... Um, let's see. Clay would expect at 715, she would expect about that many people in there. All right. And let's go this one. Deanna has a part time job at the ice skating rink selling hot cocoa. She decides to plot the number of hot cocos she sold relative to the day's high temperature and then draws a line of best fit. What does the slope of the line represent? Well, what's going on here? So the number of hot cocos sold is decreasing as the temperature, the high temperature for the day increases, right? So the slope is the prediction tool. So it's not for just one. No, it's not for one degrees. The rate of change is expected a number of hot cocos over the day's high temperature. Uh, the rate of change in the day's high temperature for each additional hot cocoa sold. No, it's going to be the rate of change is going to be um, the number of hot cocoa sold, the change in the number of hot cocoa sold over as you raise the temperature one degree. So this is going to be your correct one. Put it in, and there we go. And that's all there is to it.